This is T440 development board. Uh, I have used JTAG to pr present program the no flash on this device uh, a while back. Uh, it also has a big NAND flash as well. And since we now have Ulink NT, I have added this support for the NAND flash on the, uh, in the latest software 1.35. Uh, when I switch this flash, uh, switch to the NAND flash, I can power on and it will boot from the NAND flash. It has been OS and have a lot of apps on it. You can see there's a lot of apps here. Typically, people do not use the uh, JTAG to program the NAND flash, and even uh, the manufacturer of this board su suggests we program the JTAG to the NOR flash, then use a serial port to program the NAND flash with a special tool. Uh, however, I'm going to show with the Unique NT, you are able to program the NAND flash directly and gain faster speed than through the serial port because serial port can only achieve about 100. Uh, kilobyte per second uh, read and write and with the Unink NT you can achieve close to 600 kilobyte of read and write speed. Uh, now I'm going to shut off and plug in here then power on on the U here 1.35 we can hit detect and you can see the flash is 2 gigabit which is 250 kilo, uh, 56 megabyte flash. So first thing we need to do is to read back. And while read, you can see the data is coming. This will take a few minutes. So I'm going to fast forward. So the read speed is about uh, 590 kilobyte per second. On here, there is a LED flashing, you know it's working. It's finished reading and the read speed is about 590 kilobyte per second and total read time for 256 megabyte is 7 minutes and 48 seconds. Now let's save the backup. Uh, I already backed up before so I can call this backup one. And now I'm going to erase this entire flash. And it's erased. Now we can see uh, power off and power on. Nothing will boot up because I have erased the entire flash. Uh, so let's try to program back. And the data is here. Just to make sure it's empty, we can compare it. Oh, I should compare this, just a portion. I can compare just, a, and it's empty, okay? So, detect flash, and the backup one is my backup. And I can use the command called S program. Uh, the program here is doing smart things. It will skip the empty field. So that's why you see this initial speed is very high, but I do it close to 600 kilobytes per second. It's close to the read. It really depends on the NAND flash. Uh, some NAND flash are faster and some NAND flash are slower. It's, it's not the uh, communication is the bottleneck. It's the you know, programming algorithm and the JTAG uh, protocol itself.
the majority of the firmware or uh, the content of flash is on the first, first half so we can see the speed varies because you know it, the rest half will be completely empty and you will see the speed bumps up that that's fake Okay, the finish program in the second half is, is really fast because they are all empty. And the programming time is three minutes and uh, 15 seconds. You, know, you can see half the content is empty. So all in all, um, the program is, is quite uh, smooth. Let's see if the program succeeded. Unplug it and power on. See if it boots up. Looks like the logo is on. on. And uh, if it go boost to the real application. Yeah, you see the application boot up. And uh, you can see the Unink NT is quite capable to program the ARM9 with the NAND flash even.